Epic Games plans to change their pricing model and it affects filmmakers. On the first day of Unreal Fest, Tim Sweeney took to the stage to talk about the recent company layoffs that they've had to do at Epic to stabilize company finances. And then changes that they're going to be making to their pricing model in 2024 to Unreal Engine. The full video was posted online by Immature on X. I'll link to that below. The audio is not great, so I'm going to cover the key points right here now. So aside from the money that they make from Fortnite, Epic's revenue comes in the form of royalties and that's where say a game project will be shipped having been built in Unreal Engine and if it reaches a million in sales or more they'll owe a 5% royalty to Epic Games. But they don't have a similar structure set up for any other industry like automotive or architecture or film and video and virtual production. There is no revenue sharing in those industries. So large studios are basically getting away with using Unreal Engine for completely free. So Tim said we have an engine that's completely free to use but if you're never shipping a product that's royalty bearing then you're never paying any money at all. This doesn't affect game developers but one of the things we're going to change for next year is for industries other than game development such as automotive and so on we're going to move to a seat based enterprise software licensing model for Unreal Engine. There's a few key points in there I want to highlight, one of them being that it doesn't affect game developers because that royalty and revenue sharing model is already in place for that industry. And the other thing to note there is that it's going to be a seat based enterprise software licensing model. And he equates that to Adobe or Maya. They do already have an enterprise tier on Epic Games' site. So there is the standard license, which has the revenue sharing for game development. But there is enterprise for businesses who want a bit more premium support. And that's about $1,500 a year. With Maya at $2,000 a year and Adobe's Creative Suite at somewhere about $750, that does give you an idea that $1,500 might actually be around the right amount. It sounds like a lot as well, and we'll get onto that in just a minute. So that $1,500 per seat per year might remain in place, and that had me a bit concerned because, okay, it's a lot of money. But at the same time, if Unreal Engine had been a subscription piece of software back four years ago, I might not have even gotten started. Unreal Engine is a feature-rich, dense piece of software with applications in AR, XR, game development, film, TV, virtual production, and probably a whole bunch of other emerging industries. For me, coming at it as a filmmaker, I remember my curve being particularly steep. And if it were subscription, I think that would be a deterrent for a lot of filmmakers, actually. But with Unreal Engine as a free piece of software, it's easier to dive in and get lost in it and discover things, discover your passions within it. And I think that's really valuable. It's one of the reasons I started making content around it in the first place, so I could help people get into virtual production and learn the tools, knowing that Unreal Engine was accessible to all. So plot twist, on X, Twitter, a user posted this to Tim Sweeney, getting a lot of questions about aspiring and indie filmmakers and how they'll be impacted by the 2024 changes to the Unreal Engine licensing. I know details aren't set in stone, but will there be minimum revenue thresholds so these people aren't impacted? It's a really good question, but they got a response from Tim Sweeney. Tim said, won't affect there will be minimum revenue thresholds for commercial projects and student slash educator use will remain free. This is good news. So if you're a solo filmmaker or a hobbyist or an educator or you're just learning the software as a student then this change won't affect you. If on the other hand you're actually a studio using Unreal Engine then their pricing model is something you're likely to have to factor in and those prices we don't have yet because they're not announced. Speaking personally, I use Unreal for the videos, tutorials and short films that I post on this channel. So that revenue threshold is really welcome, actually. <laughs> so even though we don't know what the price of the software will be or what the revenue cap will be, I think this is all pretty good news for the indie filmmaking community. It means people can learn the software, get their foot on the ladder of an exciting new industry and essentially tell their stories, especially for those who are not doing it for commercial purposes and just want to get their ideas out of their head. So if I'm understanding all of this correctly, and I hope I am, it seems those without the financial means or who do not meet a revenue threshold will not have to worry. Unreal Engine will remain free and you can use it to bring your ideas to life and tell stories that otherwise would not have seen the light of day.